Hello everyone, welcome back to our airport CEO Let's Play, building up Phoenix Rising International Airport. We're up to episode 14. Alright. I didn't be 15. Make sure I'm on right on that. <laughs> Maybe we record this in a second, or I might just leave this. Yep, 14. I was right. I know what I'm doing. Anyways. Uh, last episode, we worked on mostly getting the concourse finished, and what I didn't get finished, I go ahead. I went ahead and did uh, here off camera. You see, we got that uh, shop in now. We got the bathrooms finished, changed seating colors, um, built up. There's our little um, food court. It's really, just a sitting area, but um, this shop I got to sign a new contract for. Apparently, their contract finished. Um, airplane will do. And finish the bathrooms over here as well. Bathrooms got a little wonky. Oh, here's one I really thought was kind of... So I decided this is the feature I made. The little art feature, sitting feature of just a lot of plants. Kind of like a little... I thought it looks... I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, let me know what you think. But I think it's pretty cool. I got a couple seats in here. I, I really like it. I don't know what to put for the flooring. And there's just left uh, the blank black stuff around the plants, but I thought it was really cool. So we got that put in, and I also built up this um, square foundation, and what this is going to be is for our new complex baggage system that we're working on today. Hooray! We're going to deal with baggage and hate ourselves for it. Oh, I also forgot, I put in just messing around with tilt trays, and also because this was getting backed up, I uh, put in a second... Um, Baggage claim loop. Alright. First off, though, because we have a new alpha. It is version 0 0.220. It's out now. So, we're going to show you something that changed in 0 0.22. Well, not yet, but I do have on here for you. We now have recurring flights. And I will show you how those work once we get our baggage in because I don't want flights going on when we're trying to build our bags. But I have all these recurring flights and I have this one here. To finish off. So we do have recurring flights that show up on our thing and actually I forget some of the other changes but <laughs> that's a big one. It was recurring flights. So we'll show you how those work in a little bit. Oh, there's a chance tutorial. So we'll just kind of take a look at the new tutorial here. It's kind of cool. Have an operational delivery site. We should. We should actually have that, but okay. And as I said, you can actually move those. You can also move your roadway. Um, someone did a video on how to do that, but... There's our airside construction. Switch ATC tower. Build a pathway. Kind of. It's kind of pretty cool. I think the new tutorial is really nice. Kind of just taking a look through there, an operator. Um, of course, then you have regional and then international as it shows you how to go further and further in. Obviously, with ours, it's not realizing that we've completed some of these because we already completed them. It's a little bugged on that part, but it's a work in progress. Oh, that was the other thing I added. I added because we're going to be moving this. I um, put in a little door in the corner here so we can eventually build a walkway for our ramp agents to walk over here or over to there. So, now we kind of looked at that. Let's go ahead and start working on our complex baggage system, and hopefully we won't hate ourselves afterwards. So first off, we're going to need a cargo bay. Oh my god, we have a delivery site. It's right there. And pause for a second. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, let's first look at how... We're going to build our bays over here. I'm going to leave some room for a little roadway on the end there. I'm going to build two bays. I may build them... Uh, I'll build one and then I'll decide where the second one goes afterwards. And what I want to do here is take... Uh, we're going to have our service road built. I'll build it out like that. Like that. I need to delete that wall, but...
Main reason I want to have these roadways next to it. Let's go ahead and delete that wall out. I wanted to have it block the taxiway off from uh, the building, so... It seemed a little odd to have... Uh, get rid of that wall. And when we do that, we can build it out on the other side, though. I got... Okay, there you go. There we go. The reason I want to have that is I've noticed um, sometimes the trucks can get a little stuck <laughs> when there isn't a road, and a lot of times building a service road fixes that. So when we get our baggage bay built here, like I said, I'm planning to have two. And we'll have one for over here and one for over here. I guess this will be over here and that one can be over here. Since this one I'll put closer into this side over here and then we'll figure out the mess of scanners and shit to go in afterwards. In fact, we'll go and try that and see how that works for us. So we're going to build... We're going to build infrastructure. That's what we're going to build. We have it on the corner here. You have your entrances. How much space is in between? Just a space. Okay. Like that. I don't know because we want to move our entrances for an inch. So I have room for a couple roads. So it will be like, um, F it, build it. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Oh, like, I can figure this out beforehand. No, I can't. Never mind. So put it like there. Infrastructure service road. Boop, 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 like that. Go like that and like that. Let's we'll see how that looks over here. No, oh, I don't like this square, how it creates this square like that, but. What can you do with the Klondike bar? What? Guess we could maybe delete this square. Then it goes up like this, comes down, and then turns around there. Yeah, that square. There you go, that looks a little bit better. About our service road here as well. The. There. Sort of like that. Okay, let's go ahead and figure out how our scanners are going to work. The biggest issue is going to be is getting around the outs. Let's actually build our outs first. We're going to have one coming out. <coughs> the reason I say that is because we can't cross, because crossing belts is a pain in the ass. Let's get our out belt built. I'll run down like that and then down through here. Like to there. And then this one, the outs over here, so we'll run it up to and then Over, and I'll go ahead and all underground here. It will run under here, across to here. Oh, do I want it to cross though? No, I want it to cross light. Ah, oh, god, fuck, where did we cross it? That's why I hate that. I mean, I would have belts cross easily. I could tilt tray a two destination so they don't get fucked up, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the problem with this. May have to already redo this. It's gonna be hell. I guess we could feed our lines up against the end here. Up and around instead. Run it through that, that, that. Yeah, that might work. That might be the way we do it from our check-in desks. It'll be really messy, but... That could work. We'll try that. It's going to be, like I said, a really long and messy process, but... Run down to there. Perfect. 
partner up here. See how the arrows do that shit. There we go. Underground belt running there. Come and run. We got a belt there, we gotta delete to do this. Um which I guess we don't really have to delete it. Because we can use that just fine. Running into there. We just need to delete the corners here. Delete that part of it. Run like that, and we'll delete that part of it. Well, that goes. Let's go ahead and, um, I think, since we got that pretty much set up, let's go ahead and look at how we want to do our ends. We'll probably run them from where our check-in desk will be, which will be the question. I think I'll run our check-in desks over a little bit more from that corner. And create like we did in um, another video where I did kind of like a check in wall. Pause here. Let's go ahead and delete some belts first. And then let's. Um, so we're going to delete the belts. This. All of this. I think what I'm going to do. is in the corner here. Or maybe use that room as like a staff area then, and then of course you have to go into security to get into the staff room. That's not a bad idea though. What I might do is put our check-in desks in like a little walling area up here, or put them both sides of this seating area. How many check-in desks will we need? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Particularly, I have ten stands, so we want ten. Most of our contracts usually want two each. Not sure how that exactly works. Well, we may need to go higher. About fifty medium desks, requiring a medium stand and two check-in desks each. Do we want even more, but we'll go with ten for now, because we're not using the small stands anyway, so hopefully that will be enough. We'll go with five aside. One here, put a space in. See how that looks. We build six aside. Baggage claim over. I want that like here. Checking desks like that. Not looking. I don't like it though. I guess people would come in here and then you'd have a check in area. I'd rather have it going the other way. That, I'd rather have them running across here. So, giving room for a belt there. That works. Could have them like this would work. We still have to figure out where to stick the baggage claim. Because right now our well our down I guess we could put it over there because if our down's over there that would work. We shut everything up, have five here. Have a door on the end. Five on the other side of it. Five on the other side of it now, because we don't want to put, put five at others. <laughs> hmm. We could run them across the wall, too. Just have it like this little area here. I'll check in desk. Have like a door. Five, put in a door there. Have these not have the belt in the back. Or, as we said, just build them 
Let's try that out. And see what we think. Oh, that one has too much space in between it. Then this will be a long episode of not even just looking at the baggage, we'll be kind of figuring out where we want to move our check-in desk and things like that, too, because that's going to be kind of important on this. It'll be half kind of redoing our terminal, half uh, the baggage system. Mostly the baggage system is what I want to get done here, but again, I have to have these check-in desks kind of organized. Don't ask me how we're making 9,000 an hour. I'm not sure either, <laughs> considering we have no flights coming in right now because of our uh, redoing our baggage system. I don't think GA pays that well, but maybe it does. What do I know? So they're building out our line there. So now we got th that done for our outs. I want to polish those two well here. Just so it looks better to me. There we go. Of course, if we move right over to here, we'll have to change all that out, but... We'll deal with that when we get to it. So on our ends, well, let's go ahead and get our scanner section built up. We know we want, we're going to have it come in, we figure, because we don't want it to cross up here somewhere. We'll build a scanner, say, put in a scanner. Maybe we can put it in our scanner like that. One like... No, because then they'd have to cross. Put it in a scanner like... No, because then he... Uh, oh, he can go down. No, he can go up. No, that won't... Hey, this, we're going to have just the one scanner. See, I always feel like we should have multiple scanners, but... It's almost impossible to build the lines and have them go multiples. Just in my experience, unless we built... I guess we could build separate lines. Which is sort of problem, you have to build a separate line. Uh, if we build a separate line, then we have to still build his... Weird, we have to build these in really weird ways to... Let's build this line out, and then if we have to, we'll build a separate line. So once we get that, we're going to scan for explosives. Got an explosive scanner there. And we'll scan for organics. Go there. And if it still doesn't have that, we'll check and see, does it have some guns? And if it still doesn't have guns, well, do they have drugs? I'm ignoring money because I really don't care if they have laundered money. <laughs> really not my concern. So I'll go through there, and I'll go through there, and I'll go through there, and I'll go through there. Anytime it fails, it'll go up into the uh, destruction thing. If it passes the initial scan, it'll go in there. And we'll actually have to change that because we we'll need to um, filter that out. So actually, let's uh, not do that yet. Get these built. Let 
Alright, so there's our fill point. So, up one. Across. Now we'll run all the way across here. Doesn't fail, it will go up down and back around towards um actually I'll go one more. Back around towards there. If at any point they fail, they go into the bag destroyer, which will be right there. So there's a little complex and we'll hope this works right now what we got is basically it runs through the bag scanner bag scanner identifies that it's not okay something's in it we'll say okay is there organics no what about or is there explosives if it says no we go what about organics if it says no what about guns if it says no what about drugs if it says no and then it's like okay it's a false positive we can go in the thing if these hit then it's like well into the destroyer you go and we could do the ultimate of having a Human scanner. Um, wherever they went. Oh, I don't have it unlocked yet. There's also a human one. We can have it actually staffed by ramp agents and they can check it. But uh, I'm going to take my chance. There's not that many false positives on this. And if there are, we'll pay for it. <laughs> Alright, just waiting for them to build those out. What we'll do then is we'll have a... Tilt tray he here. Belt will run down to there. To there. down that way there are other bags will run down that way and what that will do is once this gets built we'll have it to destination it will tilt them if they're going over here it will kick them out that way if they're going over to this bay it will kick them out that way what I'm going to do is go ahead and reconnect baggage bay. It's going to connect to there. Reconnect baggage bay. You're connect to there. Um, connect baggage bay. You'll be connected to there. You'll be connected to there. Did I connect you to the right one? Yeah. Okay. Um, we haven't even opened you, so we don't even know about that. Connect to there. You'll be connected to there. Um, I have you connected back to there, yes. Um, from the boarding desk attached. Go ahead and connect that up. It's gonna be commercial just so I can connect it up. I'm gonna turn it on, but just so I can connect it up. I connect it to that stand, same thing, just so I can connect it to baggage bay there. These ones we want to. Okay, what scheduled flights? Seriously, what scheduled flights? There are none. Hang on. This one's bugged, thankful unfortunately. Close it, yes. Yeah, I can open it, but it's bugged, so lovely for that. So that one's just going to be screwed up, apparently. We may have to delete it and rebuild it. That was so lovely. Clear stand. Yeah, it's just bugged. Joy. <clears throat> 
We will reconnect this baggage area to there. Which, of course, the downside of building this is now we have to have two baggage areas because we can, of course, you know. How dare us want to have more than one? What we'll do is we'll go ahead and get a. Let's see. Our returning baggage is coming over here, so that's fine. Get out some baggage belts. Have like a tilt tray. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here, I guess. Do build our belt then connect. I won't be overground. That will be underground running. Back up to there. And actually, I could probably under too. that because now it's left this little node thing there. It looks weird. There we go. And I'll just put a... Uh, this is hopefully going to work that being underground. Create an underground thing which really annoys me. That and put an overground belt in there instead just in case. Area of this is baggage claim. Connect this to the other baggage bay. Okay. Or you can just decide like, oh, you want to type called www? No, I want to connect it. <laughs> okay. And then connect our new check-in desks. Which of course, is going to be another fun one. These five will all connect up to there for now. Damn it, I'm not renaming it, I'm moving it. Jesus, it's getting really annoying. I'm gonna have like eight things called WWW because like what? You're I'm moving it. Oh my god. I'm moving the freaking camera. Jesus game. I think these are already here, we're gonna uh, use them for now. And then when we do the, uh... Is this about the baggage, not really the terminal? Oh my god. Like, it literally, I think it just... I don't know if it just runs across the name thing, and it's like, Oh, you want to, uh... You want to rename it? And like, no. I'm, I'm moving the camera, I can't help if it runs over that. And this baggage... This one will reconnect up to there. Player hand. Okay, reconnect up to there. Make sure it's connected to those stands. Connected to that. So can I activate it? Yes, I can. Activate that. Yes, I can. Of course, it's complaining that the employees have nowhere to get there. That we can solve in a minute. Or four. We'll go ahead and get that fixed here. We'll bring out our sidewalk. Ooh. -ho. Walk across. Go 
Get a little crosswalk there. There they go. And they can cross back in. Make their way over. And... Let's see. Got all those connected. We got all those connected. Of course, we need to build the line. Build. Oh, we need to connect them then to uh, through the. Um, that's one thing we've got to do. Get this built up. What we'll do is we'll have a baggage line running across. I'm gonna delete this wall. Here. Put it two more out. And it will go underground. So, back up through our stands just because this is how I built it. Deal with it. Back, oops, a little higher up. Cross to here. Overground here. Go up like that. Change our as long as I'm thinking about change this tilt tray should be left and right. Okay, now they should be able to get over there because they just go through security. Up across here. Oh, maybe I need to secure zone everything. Yeah, I probably need to secure zone this stuff. Here's on that crosswalk. Here's on that. Is that all secure zone? Yeah. Little area here. Hopefully, hopefully, that means our rampages can get here now. There we go. Let's see, hopefully that worked. <laughs> and they go through security, and it looks like they're coming out. Yep, we got it fixed. Perfect. Of course, now we need more ramp agents. We'll do that here real quick. Applicants. Um, ramp agent. Two, three, four, five. That'll do for now. Oh, we got two more. Six. I have a few more of you. Hopefully that'll be enough there. Staff these. I'm just gonna wait for them to finish the rest of this line. Um, while they're doing that, let me make sure I didn't completely break the connection. I, I did break those connections, that's right. So these are gonna have to come down a line here which will then connect up into there so and we'll see hopefully we haven't broken this if so this episode will be even longer because then we get to spend forever trying to fix this and we can get even more complex we wanted to add in additional scanners which we may do in the future that's why I left room up here, so I could build another scanner section if I wanted to. Feed it back around in something. And there's room down here too, we can build another one down here as well. We have options. But down here would be a little bit pain in the ass though. We have options. Get those connected, then we can finally... And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put a little wall. Here, on the curtain down here. A little wall out along here anyways. I know that blocks part of the door. We'll fix that later. Oh, and I didn't finish connecting that. One more. <laughs> We're getting there slowly. Slowly but surely, it takes time to build goddamn baggage. 
But yeah, mainly if, uh, if you're watching this, you're like, how do I build my bags? Um, assuming this works, what we basically wanted to do is we wanted to uh, get these connected up into the baggage bay, and then we, of course, build a scanner array up, but you don't have to do that. We want to get those connected in there, and we wanted our outs, and we wanted to try not to cross them because then that gets like hell. Um, we could cross them using tilt trays, and I may do that eventually just to show you. I'm pretty sure we can do that with tilt trace, but because of a uh, two destination, we'd be able to throw it in there and then kick it out. Like, oh, wait, that one's going. Like, you know, I could build, I don't know, I could put one here, put a tilt tray here, or, you know, here going left, right, and then be like, oh, wait, that one's, you know, the bag hits. Um, whatever, you know, I could have them feet on the same line if I really wanted to. I'm fairly confident on that, but. I'll test that out sometime. However, I don't want to do that, but we can do this where we can tilt them around there. Is that having them be able to be on the same line will help with a, a shit ton with uh, the amount of crap we had to build here. <laughs> to put it lightly. Um, okay, looks like we got everything built, so let us go ahead and start trying to schedule some flights here. And the great news is we get to show you reoccurring flights. So we have an Air Strata, which is on the B gates. He will come in at 5.30. You see we have Air Strata 1. He'll come in Friday at 5.30. Come in Saturday at 5.30. Sunday at 5.30. And Monday at 5.30. Tuesday at 5.30. And then done. That's it. You just give it a time and it just schedules it every day. So we'll have Maple F4 come in. That flight will be at 10 every day on A4. We'll have a Skylink. He's coming in at 5.30. He comes in at 10. We'll have a Skylink that comes in every day at 3. Oops, I put him on the NAS on V2. And it's all head for recurrings, but then in the meantime on Maple we'll have let me pull come in and, and at five. Just a single flight one there. That's only downside is recurring contracts right now. You only get a flight. So you need like a ton of them. And you don't get a ton of them. <laughs> but, um, we, got a, we got some cheap reoccurrings which aren't very useful to me. Five daily medium class. Okay, medium I'll take that. That's a stripe, though. Never mind. I lied. I won't take that. Um, five mediums. So I can take a five. I can take a medium. That's good. Another air strata in there. Ah, there we go. There's a repeating nos. Nas. Whatever. I call them nos. That's it for repeatings. We have a cheap Skylink, but that's a light aircraft. We don't have a spot for a light aircraft. Take a, We'll take their contract then. Let's go ahead and schedule the rest of our repeating. So we have another one. We have Air Strata 563 from Havana. That will come in. So we have from Panama. Went at 530. He'll be a late flight. We'll have this one here daily. Flight to Havana at uh, six. NAS has a flight from the Bahamas. Be a daily flight at eight a.m. every day. We'll have our um, NAS flight from Bahamas to Phoenix Rising. And did I have any others? I think that's it for all my recurring flights. Yeah, okay. So for the rest of these we'll have, he'll come in at 6 here. Come in at 11.30. He'll come in at 5. Try and balance in between the... 1240. That'll work. 
get some flights in here so we can get our uh obviously we need an air strata contract but come in at five that gap there there we're flying between those two there. Alright, we still got some NAS flights to schedule, but and we need some more maples, we need some more stratas, we're waiting. We're hoping to get mostly repeating contracts. I like those. The um our reoccur reoccurring whatever they call them. Ah uh, brains. I have my coffee too. My brains just I don't have enough of it apparently. For my brains. My brains are like ooh. Woo. There we go. Um, do we have any more yet? We just have Swiftly's, which we don't fly, and a cheap Skylink, which doesn't help us, and a cheap Maple, which doesn't help us. Okay. We're gonna fly to see if this baggage system's working. Winter game, new application, probably can't reach the work position, is it a janitor? <laughs> That's just gonna be a running theme now. It's like, oh, I can't reach the work position as a janitor. Oh shit! Just realized something we didn't do. Shit! 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 We never connected these. Ooh, that's gonna be an issue. You guys can make your money today. You better work fast. Crap! Get get over there. Build it. Oh my god! Just don't stand there, you. Uh, there's eight of you right there. Two of you right there. I need this built. And all our bags are stuck now. There they go. That someone can do work. Let's see if they make it up here. Eventually. Maybe. There they go. Right through our scanners. Yep, someone getting cut for drugs. And there we go. So far it's working. See, we're gonna find out he, he's all those flights. That's all those flights. Not good, we have new flights going that way, so we're gonna find out if our other ones are working. Very shortly. There they go. See where tilt tray works. Uh nothing yet, which is kinda interesting. There they go. Look at that. It's working. We built a working system. I'm proud of myself. Oh god, these are all backed up though. Are they not going to go? Come on. Now why won't those move? It's almost working. Wrong. Things broken. Okay, what's what's broken? Pause. These are just sitting there, and that's not good. What's broken over there? Okay, these go down here, down there, and into. That should be working. Why? Oh, I see what's wrong. There's just one little spot that doesn't have a belt. And that broke our entire bag claim. I'm gonna wait a week for one contractor to come over there and build that. Our badge claim works. There it is finally. Now let's see we should have bags moving. Oh, I think they may have gotten nope I think they didn't move. Looks like it. They're not sitting there anyways. I don't know if they got deleted or they moved. That should have her... Okay, these ones are just piling up there now. Why aren't they moving? One's across there, down into there. Oh, they can't reach that baggage claim. That's why. Alright, we gotta do something here. 
Are we gonna f this up? What we should do instead is actually and think about that because we changed our setup. These should be running down to here. Run across here. Back down to here. Go overground a little bit here. Like so. Into our tilt tray and then that will work. Baggage belt where I want to Delete our underground belt running across to. I forgot we changed and delete that. Okay. Little things we forgot. Oddly, they're moving without the belts there. I find that kind of humorous. I just kind of said, they'll be there eventually. It's like, okay, that's good enough for me. Slow down because it's killing it. Or, uh, killing it by, I mean, like killing our frame rate. Is our baggage claim down here working now? Hard to tell because we don't have a flight. We do have flights, they're fueling. Do they un. Uh, baggage loading. Okay, so they're unloading, so we'll get to check it out here in a minute. Or is that this one? That's this one, that's right. These are the ones. We don't have any flights over here right now, so. So these are all screwed up because, like I said, we uh, didn't think that through. That down there. Basically, as you can kind of see what happened, uh, if you're paying any attention, like I wasn't. We <laughs> we had to connect them. We had them connected together to go to one baggage claim, and we realized we want to have two baggage claims. Show. Sure. On opposite ends, we built two baggage claims. So, what happened there? Well, as you saw, um, it was still going to this one. It had no way to get there, so the bag just sat. So, our mostly working baggage was not working. It was the one piece there, which was letting bags go over to here, and then missing a connection here. Now, we've got that connected. Now, this should work. Theory. Those are bags. Now they're just waiting for the rest of the connection to be done, I think. Okay, so it's all connected, so they should be moving now. But now they're stuck. Oh, they're missing this piece, that's why. Now let's see. There they go. Now it should work. Let's watch. And everyone sits there and complains. We're tired. We want food. We want shops. Well, you could have sat in the, in the concourse. No one came to here. Yep, there they go. And you see it's kicking the bags out to separate sides. Each one, one goes there, one goes there, one goes there, one goes there, one goes there. There you go. Kicks them out to a different... I can set two destination. I don't know how that works, but it sets a certain one to have a destination or it just does random. Um, you can also do like forward right, forward left, which then I guess I think forward would be this going straight across here and then kicking one to the left, which could also do instead of having it set up like this, I believe. Would be an option. We might do that eventually. Anyways, there we go. So that's why I like putting the tilt tray in there just to um, kick them out to the different ones. And realistically, we could do that like f if we have a bunch of these, which we may eventually have, we could do that like 40 times. But everything's working. I'm so happy. See, there goes our bags down the little chute. Go out into the thing. And they'll come up here and get scanned eventually. Eventually. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna get they're gonna scan when eventually. Still need more rampage. There they come. Yep, someone got kicked for organics. Our tilt tray, which says they're all going to here. So they all come in here. Probably need more crafter trucks too, but in time. In time. 
We wanted to get this working. At least partially. We may extend it, though I don't think we really need to. It looks like just having the one scanner is going to be fine. I was thinking having two, but I think one's going to work. Our bags, just watch them as they come over here, and then we'll call it an episode. That was our complex baggage. Not super complex, not as complex as even I was expecting. I was thinking like, oh god, this is gonna be hell. I think I've kind of figured it out finally. Kind of. If I don't be stupid about it. There you go, you see just kicking up between the different trays. Or different, you know, claims. Hurrah! So there you go, there was episode 14. We got our baggage system built up in here with our scanners, our different scanners, a little destroyer there. Uh, we thought about putting in a second scanner area, but right now it doesn't look like we really need it, so we're going to leave it how it is. We could, if we wanted to, get more complex than this, but we're going to leave it how this is complex enough, I think. This works. Got our separate baggage bays working for separate flights. Got our separate... Uh, Package claims, which eventually we're going to have to change, and got a separate check-in desk. So hopefully, if you're watching this, I'll help you with... I need to close this. Because I need to fix that stand. Of course, we got that stand with an issue. We need to deactivate this cargo bay. Ah, there we go. It's letting me reconnect it now. Perfect. Reconnect into that. Perfect. That's now fixed. Awesome. I was hoping that would be fixed. There we go. So we got we got four stands on this. And six on this, but two are small, so I'm not too concerned about that. And yeah, so if you've been having any issue with baggage, hopefully that also helps give you a little bit of an idea of things we can do. Um, I may do some more tilt trace stuff eventually. But there's sort of a um, sample of a little more complex baggage than we had over here, which was very simple. And yeah, that's all I got for you this episode. We got our baggage system in. I think this will do for how big we're going to be now. Like I said, we may add a little bit more, but we're going to keep how it is for now. So next episode, we'll go ahead and work on fixing this. Our really e odd. <laughs> I didn't say janky, but yeah, janky is the word I'm looking for. Our, yeah, very odd terminal building that needs uh, definitely is in need of an upgrade. <laughs> we'll kind of figure out how we want to set up our check-in area and our baggage claim area and then we'll work on from there we'll put in our shops and stuff so and we'll fix this one bus stop that's just backing up like crazy. So yeah, let's come back next episode and go ahead uh, tomorrow and we'll go ahead and work on uh, hopefully getting our terminal design that one Designed and possibly finished. I am going to actually, instead of doing off camera work, I am going to do that just completely all on camera and kind of work on that. So, thanks for watching and see you next episode. Uh, go ahead and uh, save here real quick before we quit. That'd be a good idea. And we'll go and go back to our right. As you know, I always like to quit to the menu. There we go. Alright, later. Do not smoke in the terminal building.